Yeah. All right. So the three main topics we're going to talk about today. We are going to go over Devil All the Time, movie that just got released on Netflix a couple days ago. The trailer for WandaVision was released about two days ago. And big news, Microsoft buying ZeniMax for $7.5 billion. Jump change. All right, you're watching and listening to the Nerd Network Podcast. I'm your host, Marcy, as always. I'm Julian. Fellow- oh, let me, let me introduce right. you. Now go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Julian. Y'all know me. Hey, it's Blake. And Jenny. Jenny, people were killing me. They said that I didn't give you enough time to speak about who you are. Oh, well, I'm just a regular old girl. <laughs> <laughs> no one's super special. Right? <laughs> yeah. They try to say that I didn't give you enough time to talk about yourself. Jeez, Mark. So, oh, that's okay. I mean, you should totally say whatever you want. I mean, if you find me on Instagram, then that kind of explains everything. Okay. okay. It's not even worth <laughs> talking about. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Let's funny. keep it real. <laughs> no. Jen- Jennings keeps us chill here, everybody. <laughs> Pretty much. Yes. Which topic would you guys like to talk about first? Um, I want to go. Can I can I fire off with Wandavision? Let's yeah, yeah. Let's, let's yeah. Let's, let's start that. the trailer. Let's do that. <sighs> so, first of all, let's talk about what this is. Okay. Yeah. Let's start there. Yeah. Okay. So this is a series now. Yep. We're moving away from the big universe building blockbusters, and we're going into a series. Have they said how many episodes? <coughs> I don't know. Mm-mm. Okay. So, <coughs> I think um, she has Corona. Sorry. <laughs> I know. Do you want to get her some water? We have water I'm fine. I have not you. drank in that yet. It's okay. Thank you. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Um, yeah. So, I mean, okay. Limited knowledge here. From what I understand, um, it's going to be a series on, what's, what's it on? Disney Plus. It's on Disney Plus. Disney Plus. Okay. So, they haven't ha- said how many episodes it is, but my initial impression is that Marvel has lost their damn mind. And not necessarily in a bad way, but I feel like, um, I feel like they have done it all. They did everything that there was to do in like eleven years, twelve years, however long it's been. Mm-hmm. And um, there, I, I feel like this is this is the insane um, kind of psychological thriller. Is he dead? Is he not dead? Ride that they're doing because they can. And I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. I know it sounds like I'm beating it up. Mm -hmm. I hope that there is enough in there and there's enough for me to be interested for this to go on for, you know, seven seasons. So is this definitely set after the events of Endgame? Well, I think it's after the events of Infinity Infinity War. War. Okay. From what I understand. Don't quote Mm. me. Don't beat me up in the comments. I don't know. I kind of looked at it as a... Could be a, it could be a prequel to everything. I don't think so. No? No way. No. I mean, that'd be dumb. It needs to be a continuation because they need to go somewhere forward. Okay. And That's fair. With all the Marvel Cinematic Universe, they need to use this movie to expand the universe, mm-hmm. which we'll be seeing some of the teaser stuff in the in the trailer. Um, Julie, talk about that. Well, some little Easter eggs that we saw. So there was a few Easter eggs. The, the biggest one was uh, how they hinted at there's a storybook comp, uh, story story line. Uh, I can't talk. Um, and are you familiar with House of M? Yeah. Okay. So yeah. that was heavily hinted um, at in the trailers. So she meets uh, she. I can't remember the lady's name, but there's this key figure in there that helps Wanda expand on her powers, like really right. know how to use her powers or whatever. Yeah. And that is kind of like a. People are alluding to the fact that maybe this is where she you know, really becomes a Scarlet Witch, you know, the, one of the most powerful mutants in, in the game, you know what I'm saying? Right. So, like, uh, that's setting it up for that storyline where she eradicates all the mutants and then, you know. Right. But, which uh, that Marvel doesn't own the X-Men name yet. Which is, yeah, definitely tricky because, I mean, technically they call her an inhuman. She's not even, they don't even refer to her as a mutant. So, I don't know how they're going to do that. I will say, though, um, 
which I didn't I didn't originally catch that Easter egg in there. Um, I was looking through comments and and saw them referring to that. So I'm glad that you caught that. Um, everybody's been kind of curious if there's if there is a you know if they get their hands on X Men, how would they do go about introducing that? That would be an interesting place to start, like starting with her eradicating them and then being thrusted into the the Marvel universe from there. And well, I think they're blanketing over that and this is just going to be her way of handling Vision's death and it's just going to be a dream. Like this whole thing is a dream? Yes. Her and and you're saying it's hers. Yeah. Cuz I felt I kind of felt like um I felt like Vision was more than more than just in her mind. The fact that he's in scenes by himself, like when he's at the, standing at the car and mm-hmm. he's like, you know, she asked him um, if she was dead and yeah. he was like, no, he's like, well, because you, that's funny because you are. And so. It could, yeah, be, it yeah, could be her self-conscious saying that. Though. We've seen so many movies like Fight Club and other movies like that where they cut and cut and edit to make you think one thing and it's a whole different other thing. Absolutely. And yeah. We don't, you know how they do that type of stuff. Absolutely. Okay. Um, I I just hope that it. I already feel like these are two characters that they nerfed significantly. Oh, my God, bro! Vision. Yeah, like neutered Vision. Vision should have been piecing up Thanos by himself. By himself. <laughs> so I I I'm just worried that. I mean, obviously, you know, it's like '50s sitcom style, yeah. so it's obviously taking. Like I dream a genie and right, yeah, and stuff, yeah, you know? and so. I don't know. I, I guess deep down inside, I'm kind of wanting those characters to be, you know, to kind of be fleshed out in the right way. Mm-hmm. Um, but it, it's got my attention, though. I'm very interested to see because it can go in so many directions where it goes. Yeah. And I think it's more important now than ever that we start establishing future Avenger characters. Yeah. So I don't know. Scarlet Witch has definitely always had my vote as, you know, a key member. So it's going to be interesting. And to go back to the X-Men thing, now I don't know if this is real or not, but you know they had a, ta- a timeline of like future movies and stuff that they're going to have to do. And what was it, like X-Men was slated for like 2024 or something? Yeah, and supposedly that's when the rights are supposed to revert back to Marvel if Fox doesn't decide to keep it. Yeah. I mean. So will we get a reboot? Will we get some sort of movie where she erases all the mutants? That way they can kind of skirt by that and not have to refer to anybody as a mutant anymore to I don't know it's just gonna be weird who knows what it's gonna be like I'm excited for it though I don't know about y'all oh I mean I I feel like we've had a superhero drought since Endgame Mm -hmm. um I know far far from home and some other ones came out but um I mean anytime I can get more yeah I'm pumped for that same way yeah we'll see like I said it's gonna be a mini series depending on how well the series is and they Tell a story right. We don't know. I mean, the quality looks good. How do you guys feel about them introducing new characters like this? Like, let's say that, you know, the next character, they start out, you know, they have an eight-episode miniseries, and then they're put into a movie. You see, I feel like they should have done with Black Widow. We didn't need to see a whole Black Widow movie. I, I would agree with that. Yeah. Which is, doesn't matter. She's dead. So why go right. and do a that, prequel? See, that's the thing. She's dead. So this is obviously going to be... What, a prequel to the Avengers movie? Yeah, so with WandaVision, Vision is dead, right? Yeah. So, Allegedly. Well, okay, again, <laughs> don't come silly. for me. But know. there's a verse, like, in the comics, he dies. Oh, yeah. And, like, he comes back, but he still doesn't get his color back. Is that correct? I like, think there's so. a version of him that's gray. Yeah, yeah. Or something like that. I'm, and he was, yeah, they they kind of showed that, too. Um, right. In... The first of Infinity movie, um, so maybe they can like extract his subconscious being because I mean he's a computer, right? You know, I don't know, and maybe put him in a different shell. Well, outside of it being a superhero movie, Jenny, as a movie in general, as you saw a trailer, does it look like something you want to see? Like, does it have something that will interest you as an overall general appeal? I would watch it, but I, what we were discussing was: is it disappointing that it's released on Disney Plus and not? Like, does that change? Because we were saying, like, not every adult has Disney Plus, mm. but any adult with children has usually will pay for Disney Plus. Right. Like we were talking about right. how 
you know, is that going to hurt the movie? If it was anything else, not Marvel, I would say maybe. Because yeah. we've had this conversation about HBO Max or whatever it is. But, I mean, they've got The Mandalorian, which is huge. Um, Mar- Marcy's shaking his head. No, 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 no dude, that's it. <laughs> that, that's enough, oh, though. I mean, how many people? Enough. How many people got Disney Plus to yeah, watch definitely. that? And how many canceled it as soon as it was done? Well, a that, lot. I mean, they still made their money, though. Right. Oh, and how many? How many are going to re back up though for season two? Yeah. Oh, for sure. I'm already uh, for one month, and I'll cancel it again. Hey, I mean, well, not if they do like they're doing the boys, where Ooh, they just drop an episode yeah, a week. Where they but you still, along. it's still, we still got them all in a month, though. That's what I'm saying. Here's we'll how get my one time payment. I don't know, they might switch it down to 14 days. Well, depending <laughs> <you're right. laughs> uh, depending on critical reception of WandaVision is yeah. going to determine whether or not it's going to be a success or a failure. And I whether agree. people are going to subscribe no, again or buy Disney Plus for the first time. So no, that's true. I think, but to answer your question, I think if Disney Plus times it correctly, like if they're like, hey, WandaVision, hey, season two of Mandalorian, hey, next big thing. That'll keep people around. Well, you know they're going to really try to control people from, you know, letting go of that subscription. So right. They're going to figure out a way to where you have to pay for that every single month. That's what they're working on now. It it would be inter- I mean, the, they have to because they need these movies to make money. If they if they can it. continue to provide good content, I mean, I'm going to continue to pay my eleven dollars or twelve dollars, whatever. Well, it is. they're going to have to create a lot more original content and not just one one thing once a month. Because I feel like that's how the other streaming services are winning right now. They have multiple things coming out right. well, in the same week. We got Loki, and we got Hawkeye, and we no, got... No, that's true. That's what I'm saying, though. Like, if, it's, if it comes out once a month, like, you get one a month. Mm. I guess that might work. But then I'm saying, like, Netflix drops, like, two things in a week. Right, but, show but it also took Netflix. I mean, what yeah, if, I know, this I know, has been, like, you know. eight years for no, them. No, for sure, mm-hmm. for sure. So, I mean, I mean, Disney already has the studios built. So, like, the, I feel like... I mean, they've probably been doing this for years. I mean, lining up shows and production and, and things like that for, for what they want to do. Um, I think if anybody has the budget to blow through to try it, okay. it's Disney. Oh, of course. So, mm-hmm. oh, they got um, money to waste. Um, I, I, would be, I would be even more interested to see <clears throat> if they are going to do things like this, um, to, for them to, to really expand on things that they're not go- You know, those... Those side characters that you might only see, you know, uh, that glimpse of or something like that. Yeah. Um, I know that Netflix has a couple of, um, a couple of like the spinoff Marvel series and things like that. I would really like to see space. I would, I would love for them to bring, you know, the, the, the actual universe of Marvel, Mm -hmm. you know, out out there. And so it'd be interesting to see them kind of dabble with that. Yeah. Cool. I'm tired of talking about it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we can't talk too much about it. We just saw a trailer. But I'm going to watch <coughs> this, obviously, when it comes out. I guess I'll get my Disney Plus app back for a little bit. They'll get my a couple of dollars. So they They'll get, get you ching Yeah. Want to talk about Microsoft next? Sure. Buying ZeniMax. I don't know crap about ZeniMax or the, what's the other company that they? Bethesda. But ZeniMax Bethesda? is the parent Bethesda? company that houses yeah. Bethesda. So, yeah. Well, explain what Bethesda is to me. It's Besides a, just being a software, it's just software company. No, uh, I mean they it's gaming a, company. Gaming. I mean they, they produce games. Yeah. yeah. I mean I don't. I don't. I've never played a Bethesda game to be honest with you. But I know enough about it to talk about it. So. So like Elder Scrolls, Fallout, Doom. Doom. Yeah, Doom would be the biggest one that I'm familiar with. Yeah. I mean Elder Scrolls, yeah. obviously. Well, and and Fallout's huge. Yeah. I mean Fallout is huge. And so my thing, I was surprised on the, I, I kind of, we kind of talked about this before we started. I was really surprised at the initial reactions and I'm not quite sure what yours was. Um, but a lot of people were like, well, you know, those games were, a, a few of those games have been on downward trends. Um, and now with, you know, with Microsoft buying them, they're like, well, that's, that's it for them. Yeah. And at least in, in the people that I've spoken with, it's like not a good thing. Cause Microsoft, you know, kind of, ruins things right you know? so but the way that i saw it when they when they announced it i was like oh okay so they're trying to keep up with sony yeah that's how i saw it right sony and has all the first party games you know right all and, the exclusives and that's and, what i thought i was like you know me being trying to be optimistic i was like you know potentially having an unlimited budget or a greatly increased budget from microsoft would would help them make up ground on sony you know yeah. give those games that 
I know that they when they had their little um, their little premiere of some of their games um, that were still like beta, they got knocked because the graphics, you know, they weren't up to par. They didn't right. look good yet and things like that. Um, but a lot of people, a lot of, and some of the people that I talked to are like, no, this is, this is where things go to die. Mm-hmm. And yeah. so, which, yeah. which would suck because doom huge. I'm a, I played fallout. I'm a big fallout fan. Okay. Um, yeah. and so, yeah. Yeah. So it's, I guess this, this doing, but this deal, I guess is supposed to help monthly subscription that, uh, is, uh, Xbox has what is the X prescription Game Pass Xbox Game Pass okay and I guess this is gonna this is now gonna include all the, their games that they have already they're just gonna be attached to so that they're service. beefing up that library basically yeah exactly okay. mm. which what little games are those I would have no idea I mean they already had a pretty hefty amount yeah yeah you know off off the bat so I mean adding more never never hurts oh, of course you know? not that just entices people who are already in love with those games familiar with them you know. Yeah to have a reason to re-up their subscriptions. So. Yeah, and looking at it from that perspective, what a hell of a time to make that announcement right before the systems drop. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, if, yeah. if you're getting more things included in the bundle, that's, that's not going to hurt sales. Yeah. No, you got to drop the little nuggets, you know, <laughs> for yeah. sure. Jenny, your kids, Dad, what, what do they want? What do your kid want? What does he want? What do you mean? Is he going to want an Xbox or a PlayStation? Oh, he wants anything and everything. <laughs> this is me. Both. Like, no. <laughs> Focused on school. No more distractions. Yeah, nice. What does he have right now? Um, A PlayStation, I think. <laughs> I don't know the difference between anything. Okay. He loves Fortnite. He plays a lot on his Switch. Okay. okay. Because that can come with. So. Yeah, yeah, right, for yeah. sure. You Mobile. Know, anything yeah, like to do. Son. Yeah. Yeah. That's like my son. That's all they want to do. Yeah, God. Fortnite and Zelda. <laughs> Oh man, that's funny. Tries to explain Zelda to me. I am <laughs> lost. I have no idea what he's talking about. That's and he great. like breaks it down. I'm like, I am still lost. That's funny. But they're experts. They okay. know. They know oh, exactly trust me. what's going on. And he's watching YouTubers, like he's watching all the time trying to get educated <laughs> on it. I'm like, can you focus on school like this? YouTube yeah. school stuff. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Do that. That's funny. Um I don't, know, I don't have too much to say about that. We can go on to our next topic. Already, good, good for Microsoft, you know. Anything that'll help them will help the people who are fans of them, I feel like is always a good step. Well, I'm not buying it. <laughs> no, neither am I. <laughs> yeah. PS5. PS5, baby. PS5. You know? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. We'll get it. PS5 oh. is the new one that's coming out? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Is yeah. It, how much is that one? Uh, $400. Yeah, 400 oh, 400 That's yeah. it. Oh, not that bad at all. Yeah, well, see, that's, that's how they everyone, get us. But, but that, what's everyone talking about that's really expensive? Well, they thought they were going to be expensive. Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought they were going to okay. be like seven. Okay, everybody was, that's what I thought. Yeah, everybody was like six hundred to seven hundred dollars. Yeah. I was they like four hundred. <laughs> By now, <laughs> pre-orders cr- like pre-orders were done in seconds. Yeah, really, like, you yeah. can't even pre-order it. Oh my gosh! Yeah. Yeah. And did you guys see that? Um, that uh, the sale for the Xbox One or whatever the. Xbox One Pro or whatever it is, uh-huh. the sales jumped up seven hundred percent when the pre order for the regular Xbox dropped. Dang! So like everybody that was buying those on Amazon is going to be pissed when the the old Xbox shows up at their door because they bought the wrong Dang. one. Oh, dummies! That sucks. <laughs> because what is it? The X? It's called the X series well, that's the or damn something. Problem. Yeah, you know, the they, naming is so Xbox bad. Xbox X Plus. One X Elite. Yeah, imagine pro. someone like me trying to keep <laughs> yeah, that. Okay? Like, no, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Lost, that's a headache for so, parents who are yeah. trying to buy something. You know, right? And like, so Amazon, yeah, the sales for the Xbox that is out right now just jumped up seven hundred twenty-seven wow. percent. So in two days, everybody's going to be pissed when Prime drops that off, and their kids like, "This is not the right one." <laughs> Sony, good job. PS5. Dang. Right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Shout out to the graphic designer working on that. Just, <laughs> out what of should five. we do this year? <laughs> five, please. Just out of five. Oh, that's <laughs> hilarious. That's awesome. Yeah, I, I, was, I saw that on my news feed. I was like, this oh, is no, fantastic. That's, that's tragic, man. I feel like. That's funny. All that's, right. We're going to go into our movie review of Devil All the Time, starring Tom Holland, Robert Pattinson, and a few other actors in there. Oh, man. Thrown in there. Um, some good actors thrown some in good there. actors thrown in there um jenny i want you to talk about your initial thoughts of this movie i thought it was scary <laughs> there's it, it's not like a horror movie but i think there was it was suspenseful and, but i can admit it was kind of long did you feel that i way? thought it was damn come too on, long come on like where where are we going with this oh yeah. my gosh you know that that's, was that's only negative i mean when i saw it was over two hours i mean i was like okay well gonna be about for that long yeah but I, it was acting great 
And I love great acting because I hate a great storyline and horrible acting. Mm-hmm. I yeah. think that kills mm-hmm. the whole thing. Yeah. yeah. But that, I just thought it was a little lengthy. I try not to be mean. Should we talk spoilers on this movie? We should, right? Absolutely. Yeah, all the spoilers. All right, <laughs> Big spoiler alert <laughs> banner right here. Yeah, all right. <clears throat> um, Blake, you want to go and talk about just a quick summary of what this movie's about? Okay, uh, uh, quick. Um, so we have uh, we have a an, a great ensemble of, of characters. So we start off with a guy who's coming fresh off the war. Um, you know, and, and this story is really about... I don't know if you'd want to call them timelines, but intersecting intersecting storylines, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so you're introduced to a couple of characters um, in different phase, uh, phases of kind of what is going to become of them, um, and you get to you get to see the the effects of things like trauma. You get to see the effects of um, things like uh, neglect and manipulation, um, and it, it it all comes full circle. And I think that was the most incredible thing to me was um, you're following these characters, you're seeing kind of... They almost started in the middle um, because, like, they start the movie off in the beginning and then you kind of jump ahead and it's like, oh, okay, before you get confused, let's bring you back, you know, a couple of years. And I thought they did a really good job of that. And so, um, yeah, and then it it ends off with, you know, Tom Holland, um, you know, kind of tying the whole thing together. Um, Yeah. I think if they had not done it that way, it would have been a snooze fest. Like if they had not yeah, jumped agree ahead and then rewound, and then you kind of catch up, it would have just been a little. So basically, I wanted you to go a little bit more. <laughs> yeah, no, I, felt, <laughs> I okay. felt like that was my spoiler-free summary. It's okay, so. but I want to say, do spoiler-free. Basically, this movie's about a preacher who comes into town, uh, sexually abuses, harasses, and actually takes advantage of Tom Holland's stepsister. Yeah. And Tom Holland's on a mission to find out what happened to his stepsister, who eventually later down the road committed suicide. Um, basically, almost revenge type story. Yeah, yeah. you're almost yeah. cheering for him. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know. yeah. At least I was. No, for sure. Obviously, rape's bad, and uh, advantage of a young girl, very bad, especially from a preacher or a priest. Was he a priest? He was a preacher. Pastor. Pa- preacher. I don't pastor. know. It's it's a I, southern thing. So. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah, yeah. Um. I don't know. Which is, uh, first of all, I'm going to dive in each character real quick. It's Tom Holland's character. We could go all day about this character. Yeah. Okay, so to take a step back, when we watched the preview to this movie, none of us quite knew what it was about. Had no right. thing what it was about. So having watched the movie now, I see why they did the trailer like that. Because you could almost break this movie into three different parts. And it, it was almost like three separate movies blended in because of the different character story arcs. Go ahead, Julian. And I think that's where the fault is. That's where it you lost think me. so? Yep. That's where it lost Absolutely. me. Absolutely. I, I loved it. Because it, there was too much going on. There was too, I felt, and I'm not trying to be negative, you know, I'm trying to keep positive. Storytelling was, was good. It was strong. But I just felt like there was too much. When I saw the two hours and 19 minutes, I was like, okay. <laughs> and, 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 All right. And I like longer movies. Yeah. Right. You can tell more of a story. Yeah. You know, take time, develop develop characters and where they're going to, you know, see a, an arc from beginning to end. And it was successful in areas, but Correct. it was distracting in others. Exactly. You said it perfectly. Yeah. yeah. And right I feel right. like they try to throw too many storylines, too many characters in. With it being two hours and 20 whatever minutes, 18 minutes, you still didn't get enough yeah. of these characters. Well, every storyline was so complicated. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it didn't need and to be. It, yeah. yeah, you just need to focus on one. I, I mean, oh, it, it is very apparent to me that we did not watch the same movie. <laughs> oh, I absolutely yeah. loved it. If we I loved you it. Loved, okay. even the, you loved how it ended and yes, everything? Yes, yes. Really? Okay. Oh, Man, let me tell you something. So, the ending so, left me like we'll on go, edge. Oh, yeah, we'll talk about that. Yeah, okay, so right. so one of the biggest things to me, and I preach this every time we talk about a movie, is character development. And I felt like this movie, while not going in depth on not going in depth on a lot of the other characters besides, you know, Tom, you know, cause you see his entire life. Um, I felt like they gave you enough to know how those characters, why they were doing the things that they were doing and reacting the way that they were acting. It was like just enough to where yet you do want more, but you weren't confused. That, okay. So why are they, why are they picking up people? Hitchhikers? Like, no, they, they teased it in the beginning and then, 
the, the narrator I thought did a fantastic job explaining. First it. of all, who's the narrator? Uh, two, I th- wasn't there a couple? Uh, there was just one narrator. Oh, it felt like there were two. Stories. The way they were telling the story made it seem like multiple people. But yeah, you know, I, I get what you're saying. But who was narrator? I, I, he's just an overseer. He was just. Yes. He was just. I hate when movies do that. That's I, true. I, I like it. I like it when it's like Tom Holland growing up, or someone f- from the outside looking in talking about it. Sure. We don't know who that narrator was. That's true. Yeah. Okay, so you you're saying more like a like a. Um, like, like a Christmas story. Right. Or what's or, the... Man, I'm going to get... Uh, Rose Story is a great example. What's, yeah, uh, perfect one. Yeah. What's uh, the jail movie with... Uh, Green Mile? Yeah, no, no. Greatest movie of all time. The... Uh, Red, Red, Sh- yeah, Redemption. Shawshank Redemption, where, you yes. have, where he's narrating. Yeah, okay. that makes sense. But okay. we just had a random guy talking about it. Like, they were, like he was reading a book. I felt like I felt like it was nostalgic in that way, though. I felt like it was almost like those old, not quite Western, but I I felt like it had that old gritty type of story. But telling. usually, when you have like from a Western standpoint, you have the old cowboy talking about. Okay, I, 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 I see. Up. I see where you're at with that. I could just I could see. How I was you waiting for it to loop back at the end, and it didn't do that. Right, it's true. Um, I mean, narration is good for certain movies. When you come back to around, they didn't do that for this movie. That's just one little thing that I have a whole long list of complaints about. <laughs> but that's a one. Really? That's one. That's one little thing. Wow. Um, it, good. The job. overall, the overarching theme was about that whole movie was religion. Yeah. If you look at it, you know, the whole thing. Uh, Tom Holland's dad and his upbringing, religion. The murder photographer dude, religion. Right. And then at the end, with the preacher, even the cop, I guess you could. Lump them in religion as well. You know, right. that's the whole overarching theme, which, you know, I think if we look at it at that standpoint, yes, it, it did a very good job of explaining three different stories and incorporating that one concept into each of their stories and everything. But, you know, like I said, um, I think it would have been more effective if they kind of would have cut out a storyline and maybe kept it to two or cut out two and kept it to one. Right. When I looked at that initial trailer, I was excited for it. I was like, okay. And then when I watched it, I was like, Man, the trailer diverted from, or at least diverted my expectations right, for what right. we actually got. You know, yeah. So, yeah. yeah. I don't know. No, and uh, on top of that, with the with being called Dove all the time, I guess we're supposed to see the temptation or evil happening all the time throughout the movie, which is totally fine. But at the end, I still didn't feel like we got the resolution that we should have got. You're going through Tom Holland's going through all this shit <laughs> throughout the whole movie, and I still feel like the ending. I didn't get that climax where like. Yes, he made it. Well, I, I, the a, a personal preference, obviously, but I, I love that because I feel like that is more of what real life is like. I feel like um, anytime there's a, a hero story, well, a guy catches a baby out of a window, or you know, there's some heroic act. He gets the key to the city and all that, but life still goes on. No, mm-hmm. no, for sure. But if you are going to think that route, if you're going to think that right through a movie and timeline like that, this awesome movie was not realistic and. The way how how did Tom Holland not die multiple times? That made me really mad. What do you mean? So, I, okay, maybe the, the 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 opportunity with the sheriff, but I mean he didn't have a ton of chances to die before that. Uh, the couple should have killed him. The girl should have killed him. But luckily the blanks were in there. I'm just saying, like that was so good. That was yeah, it was good. That, that was a great twist. It was good, was, but then yes. like this put him in another situation where he almost dies again, mm-hmm. and then that guy had a shotgun right on top of him. But what were the chances of him finding him out there? Like that's yeah, the exactly. Like, like, At the wrong time. No, 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 no. I mean, oh, they okay. use that shotguns do spread. It's true. You know, so the chances of him, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, I like... Like Tom that Holland. scene where he was in the, how did he know at the right time that dude was outside the car getting ready to shoot him? Exactly. And he just happened to be like, nah, I'm going to shoot him first. Yeah, you know, exactly. Like that. I don't know him. I, I think, I think. Tom the, Holland is just a boy. With the He's other. Spidey senses. That's, that's, yeah, it. that's what we said. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Wasn't he reading a comic book as a kid? So. Yeah, I was yeah. like, that's awesome. Like, ah. I was like, I hope it's Spider-Man. But I think though, I think they kind of, I think they kind of answer that. Like, how did he know? Because the two people that, um, or no, the, the one guy that they killed, um, where, you know, he got real suspicious when he was going out there the first time he was like, well, you know, what exactly is going the guy that it killed his wife. And that's why he was out hitchhiking or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Um, he got real suspicious. I feel like Tom, he was already on edge. He had just killed somebody. He sees the guy get out with a gun. They didn't just pull off on the side of the highway so the dude could take a piss. Like they went. Uh, two miles down a road, you know, and all this. And so he sees a guy get out of the car with a gun. He's like, okay, hold on. Mm. And so I feel like me personally, like 
I haven't been in that sort of a situation, but I've been in a situation where I know that something is about to go down and I got out of there and something did go down. So, so he I, felt I, it. He listened yeah, to his gut. Yeah, he's, he's just like, wait a minute, we're, I don't know. Like, he kept looking behind him like, where are we? Mm. This guy's got a gun. Like, he wants to take pictures? What the, what the mm. are you talking about? Yeah. No, no, totally. And, and like, uh, that's not even the part I'm complaining about. I'm complaining about the fact that he got in these situations multiple times. In real life, that to me, that doesn't happen realistically. You don't almost die. Get out of it every time. Yeah, and yeah, you don't get out of it every time. I think, I, okay, I think that maybe he should have, I think if he would have took, like, got some injuries from this. Exactly. He you know, came out without any scratches. Right, right. And so I, I can see where you're at and, with and that. And that's the part I'm talking about. Like, mm-hmm. like the, <laughs> nothing really happened to him. He got beat up by those kids in the first, the first, okay. And then after that, he was yeah. just like, he basically was just bulletproof the whole entire movie after that, which I didn't like. Right. He did put hands on the three dudes. That yeah, he did. Yeah. Sister, though. Yeah. Touch my sister again. So, and, and, but, but that made sense. Like, yeah, how, yeah. how he got them, right. that made sense. How he got revenge on beating right. them up, you well, know. Yeah, and that was an example from his daddy, you right. know, back yeah. in the day. So, oh, that I was his it. religion protecting his, you know. Seven, eight, eight, right. Eight. Yeah, yeah. Which is great. I love how he had to wash his blood off his hands yeah. like his dad Yeah, did. yeah. That yeah, flashback, I was like, wow, I got chills. Yeah, yeah that was good. That was good. That was said, those moments were so strong. And yeah, And I feel like. Areas kind of like um, took away from that a little bit. No, you know? for sure. Like um, again with the cop, I didn't feel sorry for him. Well, yeah, I don't. The, yeah, he the, was complete sleaze. Yeah, I didn't feel sorry from for the him. beginning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and day. I still didn't feel the urgency and the 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 paranoia that he should have had. Okay. Yeah. So when it when they did the flashback of him taking out the bullets, so like I've watched enough murder documentaries to know that like a lot of times those guys are hyper paranoid. Like they yeah. are mm-hmm. they are on it. And so it would have been good like when she was like about to leave mm-hmm. in the car and she ended up coming back home, it would have like I would have liked to see like his awareness raised to ten mm-hmm. at that point and him doing things, you know, to make sure that, that she couldn't And I'm glad that you mentioned that because another fault that I found was there was too many gaps. In, in the movie where the movie expected you to know this or expected yeah. you to understand understand that this character is thinking process without them actually saying anything. Yeah. They wanted you to connect the dots without actually connecting without, the dots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's a one big dot we're going to talk about yeah, we haven't talked about yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was how the heck did Tom Holland's character know it was the preacher, priest, pastor that took advantage of his sister or his stepsister? So my understanding of that was after she killed himself and then it showed the pastor moving on to the next girl and in those instances that but, was tom watching but i know but before that though before before tom even even did any of that stuff right well he was upset that that the preacher didn't say anything about it well even before that so basically what happens in the movie tom holland gets done from work the cop sees him right hey just so you know your stepsister was pregnant when she died and then automatically, boom! Lightning struck him, and was like, yeah. "I'm gonna go get that pastor now." Well, okay, so in that in that scene, he did mention about not having any ceremony for people who kill themselves, right? You know, and he was ticked off about that. But still, still to your to your point, that how do you automatically gain suspicion that oh he did it? So I'm gonna tail him for two weeks. Make no sense. It didn't make any and, sense. Well, how would that guy that knew that she was pregnant know she was pregnant? Yeah, especially at that time. That's period. a lot of yeah. Yeah, yeah it was like 1965. Yeah, and a. Teenage oh, girls. I thought it was way later. I thought it was like seventies. No, it was in the sixties. No, nah, it was, was it? like oh, okay. mid sixties. Yeah. The, the okay. Timeline. Yeah, because yeah. what Linda B. Johnson was six. He got sworn in. Sixty five. You had okay. to pay attention to when they put the date up because then they would switch back. Yeah. And then they go yeah. back. Yeah. yeah. And you're like, oh, or like it would be on yeah. a. It would be like on a TV in the background, or you'd hear like a news report or whatever. But even if he found out that she was pregnant, okay, cool. Automatically, think it's the the preacher. <laughs> well, that's pastor. the only place. But okay, so again, not to be overly, you know, critical, critical in that detective guy. But that, I mean, she's still in high school. That's the only place she goes. For sure, no, for sure. But I'm I'm saying though, he never Tom Holland's character never saw any interaction with her and the pastor right. at all. Right. If they were in a quick scene like him yeah. looking at them yeah. funny when they walked right. away, yeah. like that's all they needed to that's do. All they yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's like, true. Okay. Like two yeah. seconds of him just like. Huh. Where, are they, where are they going? Mm-hmm. Like right. thinking that's not right. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. We never got that. In the movie or like whatsoever. him getting off of work and like seeing the pastor like throwing underwear out his, it, or like that girl riding her bike yeah. away from his car or yeah. something. It, I see where you're at. And damn, with that scene too, it's just like 
you would have solved that problem by just having maybe Tom Holland in the bush or something. Yeah. Right. Watching them. Well, so when, when she was in the car and you see her door open and she lays down and you mm-hmm. see his legs hanging out the other side, mm-hmm. I was like, he's about to drag his ass out of there. I was and like, that's what I thought. Yeah, that's I was. I, I would have been perfect. Yeah. It would have been perfect. I was like, oh, it's over. But like, yeah. give us something to know what the character is okay, doing. Okay, so, yeah. okay. Maybe, yeah, That that's a knock. That's a yeah. knock. Um, what do you guys think? And I hope I'm not jumping ahead, Marcy. That's okay, what do you guys think about casting? Because we were curious about the, you know, the American Southern accent, and we yeah. got Tom Holland, and then we got, you know, Hadson's voice uh, was annoying. horrible. Uh, annoying. But I think that oh. adds oh to so the disdain that. for his character. Yeah, okay. No, I, I think no it, it was like no, it was cringy. It so, was cringy. So here's it, here's how bad it was. Y'all my seven year <laughs> <laughs> my 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 seven year old got. Um, was going to get a Capri Sun before he got back on it, put his headphones on and got back on his switch. And he was like, that voice should not be coming from that man. Exactly. Like, that my seven-year-old yeah. said that. So It was like a bad Colonel Sanders. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yes. It was so bad. But I, I felt like, though, I felt like if you... I felt like he still did a good job, though, for oh, the character. I think he did, yeah. too. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, I don't know why he chose this role, though. He's about to play a Batman. He plays a... Pedophile priest, basically. Yeah, I'm sure he needed to, to get some grit, man. Yeah, he needed to, yeah, to, to roughen up the character. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's, yeah. Uh, I mean, because the last time you saw him, he was sparkling. So sparkling he had to do something. Like a diamond. Yeah, he's been. A, he's been. I was so. Since then. I was Bella. so ready to go into this movie like Spider Man versus vampires. Yeah. Like, but I was really impressed. Well, with... Well, when you said that though, just right there, I felt like that final, <laughs> final meeting right? of both of them was very lackluster. Okay, I wanted to see Tom Holland get more revenge than just bang and then. I'm with you there, but man, the delivery of when he was saying when he was giving his story, right? And I'm sitting there like, oh shit, yeah, it's about to go down. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I was. I, I liked how yeah. he started off about him, yeah. and then he slowly like, yeah. oh well, you. Do, I saw you do this. You can I, see it in uh, Robert Pattinson's face yeah. as he goes deeper, and deeper. That story, I was like, yeah, this that that right there. That was that good. was really good. No, that yeah. was really, really well done. Yeah. yeah. No, that was so really well is, done. Is this a book? I believe it is based I on a book. So, yeah, yeah. I it is dude, based on a book. incredible writing. Mm-hmm. Like if if that was taken close to verbatim or yeah. that scene, that is the scene from the, the book. The dialogue was really good. Yeah, incredible yeah, dialogue. Really yeah, it was very good. Um, yeah. but still, I wanted some more. Like I found out. I mean, following you've been doing all this stuff, and then I found out it it was you that killed my stepsister. I feel like he should be more angry. Mm-hmm. I guess I that, don't know. I, I don't. I mean, I, I I think everybody would would think that they would be, but I mean that also wasn't his way. I mean, like his dad said in the beginning, like well, I'm not saying I wanted he, to see him torture him or anything like right, that. Right, but, but I mean, his dad tells him he's like, you know, pick your time, pick your target, you know, and handle it. Mm-hmm. That's true. No, 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 and so no, I think I think uh, you can't just go in those small communities. You can't just go and kill the pastor. Like, yeah. you know oh. what I'm saying? Like, I mean, technically he did, though. Well, he went he straight did, up to the church but like, you and can't, and left. Like, it, if Sunday school or something would, would yeah, have yeah. been going on or something like that, like, no way. It would have been harder for him to try and convince the congregation that the preacher's up to no good. Right. Like, you know. Talking which, about that. Yeah. Which, talking about that, though, me and Julian talked about that would have been a cooler movie. It, and, yeah, I was going to say, yeah, if if maybe the movie focused on just that storyline and him trying to convince the other people, hey, this dude is doing this, and then they're like, oh, we don't believe you. And then he's like, all right, fine, I'll handle it myself and kill him. Yeah. Exactly. Like, that would have been, been a good movie. That would have yeah. been dope. That would have been yeah. dope. That would have been really good. Yeah. I, I liked uh, – I like the way they did it. So I thought it was really interesting the way he was like dropping clues as he, every person that he killed, like he, he left clues on on them, you know? And so that was very interesting. He's like, you know, yeah, I killed him. Like, yeah. But like, you kind of heard it it, when that guy was given the description for him, Mm -hmm. he was like, you know, it kind of sounds like the preacher had it coming. Like Mm -hmm. I thought that that was really, Mm -hmm. you know, kind of a cool way to, to go about that. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think that he would have been trouble? I don't, he ran away because he killed the priest. Right. I feel like this is in this that time frame is coming out of like okay the wild wild west days were were well and gone by then but this was still a point in time where you still had like 
quasi justified killings. Yeah. You know what I mean? So yeah. it's like you could you could do things and if you could show that there was a good reason for it, like the townsfolk would just go back home. Yeah. Well, just yeah. like his dad beating up those Guys, right. oh, right. like, that Which, could never oh, happen man. nowadays. No, no, Street no, justice, I yeah. love it. And, and the fact that everybody stepped aside, like, all right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, just let them handle it. Yeah. Just let them handle it. God, <laughs> oh I wish God. 2020 was man. like that. Yeah, yeah. And that's what I was thinking. Why is he so scared to just run out, run out of town already? Yeah. And I feel like no one would have been like, especially if he saw it with his own eyes. But you have to understand, though. So, like, the the even if it was like that, like, priests and the church that is a i mean that you want to talk about a stronghold oh no these people sure. these people can witness something happen that take care a, of their own yeah, yeah and a preacher will stand up there and, and just like he did blame it on the blame it on the real victim and right. they'll be like well you know she wouldn't leave him alone you yeah. know I, we did see her hanging around and you know and and, right. and and gravitate towards that so i mean that's that's a that's a touchy touchy situation for sure but like i said before the cops just said that she was pregnant and they could have used that later down i don't know like Julian was saying, that could have been a whole separate movie it, just it alone by itself, yeah. right there. Yeah, yeah for sure. Um, and then about the 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 couple going off doing their little killing photography stuff, I really didn't care about them either. I thought that was weird. It was super weird. Like, and they spent a lot of time on them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for no reason. I felt like, besides that, it's the cop's sister. Well, and it adds like a sex kind of. Yeah, so I feel like the movie didn't need it. Didn't. it didn't. Now, now that it I'm didn't. now that I'm thinking about this, was this like the Seven Deadly Sins? Because you had greed, you had lust, you had. They already made that movie called Seven. Go watch that instead. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, <laughs> wonder, I wonder. I wonder if yeah. that is kind of where this. That's interesting. Is now that we're talking know. about all the things that happened. Well, there was no glutton. There was no. Um, I don't know. There wasn't the other six. I mean, I don't know. I don't know, was Gluttony when he was tearing up the chicken livers all by himself? <laughs> was. Wasn't, wasn't sharing those. <laughs> I don't know. And like I said, if they were going to go that religious tone, then they could have done that better too. Well, I feel like they didn't want... I, I felt like they didn't want to be like, this is... You know the religion movie of 2020. No, that's totally fine. I felt like it had like a super strong religious background, but it, it wasn't that. Yeah, it wasn't... 7 2020. Right. Yeah, they which weren't is, beating you over the head with a Bible. Which is fine. I also wanted to go switch over a little bit. This, I know Jenny said it was scary. I did not think this movie was scary from the trailer. I thought this movie was going to be a little bit more scary pulling on my 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 uh my religious background a little bit and scaring me into st certain things. Okay. And I feel like I didn't get that in this movie. I, um the only thing that was a little bit scary was maybe that guy putting the spiders on his face. <laughs> that wasn't scary. What was scary was when they were praying in the dark, and then the flashlight went on the, like the cross. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. my gosh, oh, that was creepy. Okay, yeah, that, that was scary. That was creepy. That was yeah. Seeing the flashlight anytime it's dark yeah. and there's just a flashlight, right. I'm like, yeah. Ooh, and the music is playing. Yeah, I just expected them to, to to you know how some religious movies kind of kind of scare you in certain ways. Mm. I just didn't get that same feeling watching this, and that's what I was yeah. thinking from the trailer. I was gonna get. Okay, see, I didn't see that from the trailer. I will say though, I don't know about like scare like horror, but it was thrilling. There were a couple of times where like I I stood up, I was on the couch like, what is about to happen? Like that was crazy. I was like, when's this going to be over? <laughs> <laughs> when is, when is, and, and, and I'm not really trying to bash this movie. I like this movie. I did like the movie. I didn't hate it. I just felt like same thing as always. The trailer led me to believe something else, and it didn't get it. That's true. And I'm always hoping for better right. than the trailer. And you feel like this time is a letdown. Exactly. And I don't know if that's just because trailers nowadays are like that. I don't know. Well, it is because trailers are like that, which is why I I prefer not to watch trailers. I, I, I think I got but, a different vibe from this movie. But then though. again, I still didn't know from watching the trailer. I still didn't know what was going right, on. Right, yeah. Nobody knew. Which is good. They, go. they did a good job with that. But yeah. then after watching it, I still, I'm not saying I didn't, I understood the movie. I understand the, the storylines. It's just to me, the execution of it all, wasn't executed to its complete potential what it could have been. I loved it. Best best movie I've seen in a while. Mm. And wow. Really? Yes. For 2020? Best uh, best movie I've seen in 2020. Oh my what gosh. movie is uh, Okay, y'all didn't like it, so I can't ask that question. But I this this movie this movie for me it just it was it was 
There's, there's, I mean, besides a couple of plot holes, which I think every movie just about damn near has, I, I feel like they summed it up perfectly. I felt like they came back and grabbed all the loose ends at the end. I felt like I, I thoroughly enjoyed the movie. YouTube world, podcast world. Did you guys enjoy this movie? Is it the best movie of 2020? Yeah, get so far. Out of here with that so door. far, <laughs> no way. Oh, what what movie? That. What movie in 2020 is better than this one? Uh, Tenet that we just saw. Yeah, Tenet? Without, without yes. a doubt, I, I didn't like see it. So, so movie. don't knock me because I haven't seen Tenet. Gosh. But aside from is this a good movie or not? I think the main question is how did Tom Holland do? Are you convinced that Tom Holland? That was a big question. Not to cut can, you off. Oh, no, you're good. You can't. Do you think that with this movie, is he? Has he left the Spider-Man role? Can you see him in different roles outside of Spider-Man? Is this a, or is this a good foundational step? I don't think it's a good transition, but he tried. Um, he was he was a, he was a guy on a, on a revenge movie. Like you can't really mess that up. Someone killed your stepsister. I'm gonna go be a badass now, and then get my revenge. They can make anyone look good in that type of role. Yeah, can they? I mean, Nicolas Cage. Yeah. <laughs> I think if you put Nicolas Cage back at that age, starring in the number one big movie universe, think about it though. Okay, was it uh, Con Air? That was almost revenge type. Okay, I see where you're at. Yeah, so uh, what I'm saying is like you can't really mess that up, especially how they did it. I feel like this movie was supposed to showcase Tom Holland, and obviously it did, but he's still in the action role. And yes, there was some emotion behind it. They killed, like, like, like I said again, they killed my stepsister. I'm coming for revenge. And he, got, you saw him be a badass. I feel like that's not a fair assessment, man. No, no, I, wait, I wait, feel wait. like but, Tom Holland. But wait, like I said, this is his second move that I've seen outside of right. the superhero movies. Right. And then see him go to this. Am I going to say, can I see him in other roles? I can see him in other roles being a badass. Yeah, of course. We saw him use a spotty sense in this movie. <laughs> we, 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 we saw we saw him use use his physical attributes yeah. in a role. Okay. Did he really get upset and show emotion on the screen after his stepsister got killed hmm. or hung herself? I'm sorry. No. No, he didn't do that, and that's totally fine. That's totally fine. But I'm just saying, I can't say, oh no, he's gonna be the next super. Movie star, actor, should he get Academy Award from this role? No. no. Which is, that's okay. I, I feel like, I feel like it's an unfair assessment to say that he was on a revenge tour because you don't even meet Tom Holland and you don't see Tom Holland until like a third of the way into the movie. So that's why this isn't a Tom Holland movie then. Right, exactly. But his, I mean, he's only on his revenge tour for like the last 30 minutes of a two hour movie. Yeah. So and, there's, and, a, but, there's a but, lot but, of Tom but, Holland in there. But that's why I can't say that he, he did so much, or he did the best because, like you said, he was only. I mean, he has more. He has more screen time than any other of the other characters. Well, I mean, he's like the face of the cover, right? He's the, but so, yeah. but the he game. has more screen time. But you, you find like you. you I found really his, like his dad. I you felt guys, like he killed it. I felt guys, like the dad killed right. it. Yeah. So, but I mean, with with having more screen time than his dad does, though, I just, I think, I think, I, I he, think that's why it's sad that the dad. I care about the dad more than I did him. See, I don't care about the dad more than But I'm just saying from the movie, they, they right, drew right. me to him yeah, more. Yeah. Right, okay. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I, I mean, I was looking really, really forward to Tom Holland to step out of his comfort zone. So if he is in the next non-superhero movie, are you booking that one in? Like, I'm going to go see this movie because Tom Holland is in it? Anytime I'm seeing a movie about him, I just want him to do better. And I'm, that's what I'm hoping for every single time. By better, do you want him to, like, what if he was in a comedy? Oh, that'd Could be great. Could you believe that? That'd be cool. I could see if he was funny. Really? Yeah. yeah, if he was funny. Sometimes, you know, transitioning that role, like, I think staying comfortable in, because it's a believable role, sometimes I could only imagine the backlash of someone mm-hmm. saying, like, oh, now you're a comedian? Like, stick well, to that, what well, you know. Well, they well, say, they well, say well, comedy's well. the hardest. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, because he's timing. young enough. He can play around with different genres. I thought yeah. he was a great actor. Like, yeah. He... Played the character very well. Yeah. But I just, I think sometimes, you know, people want, they'll say, oh, they should be, you know, an actor that acts in all kinds of different movies. But it's like, Marcy. is it believable? I, I want him know. to be something different. So that's <laughs> wrong. That statement's wrong that you're giving me because I'm just saying, like, I want him to be different. Right. I don't want him to just be the badass dude, revengeful. Right. And, and so we, if he it, cried more and punched less, <laughs> sure. How'd you feel? Sure. 
Sure. And, and, and I say that with any actor because mm-hmm. they should be clay. They should be able to transform into, that's you know. Tough. Yeah, there's it is not, tough. There's and that's not why, very many actors that can do that. True. Exactly. Yeah. That's why you can only have so many 10 <laughs> A-list that's, actors. That's, that's true. true. And that's, that's what I feel like every actor should aspire to be. Take risks. Does it always have to be about the black, big blockbuster movie? I and don't. I don't think so. Maybe in the beginning to make money. Yeah, sure. And to, I'm just saying. To be known and yeah, and that's why I'm glad that Tom Ro- Tom Holland did do a role like this to see where he could go. Right. So yeah. it got me interested. Like I said, good, very good first step. Yeah. Towards that direction. And we'll just see what happens. I mean, yeah. the next movie he's going to be doing is um, Uncharted, I believe. Real, I did see that. Yeah. Like the game. The game, yeah. 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 That's yeah. dope. All right. Yeah. See, and I feel. Okay. I don't. I, want, I, I don't want to hope they have somebody good. I don't want to talk oh, about. Man. I don't want to talk about it too much because we really don't know the whole thing about it. But to me, that would have been the next movie he should have done. Well, that's more actiony than mm-hmm. yeah than this one. This is true, but I'm just it's an easier transition to get in there and still so, because he could have really messed this movie up. But I'm glad. I'm glad he. I'm glad like I said. I'm glad he did it. Did you guys? So his accent. Really, how would oh, you guys I feel? It was fine. I thought it was okay, young kid. I mean, I like the preacher's accent. Oh, man, I, I hated it. it. Oh. I hated it. Oh. It added to, it added I, didn't, to the character. I didn't hate it. I yeah. didn't hate it. It was just weird seeing it come out of Pattinson's mouth. That's all. Especially after, now, especially, <laughs> especially after his saying, I have vengeance. <laughs> like, I have vengeance, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was just like, I don't These know. chicken uh. gizzards, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I felt like he, he just, uh. he doesn't, he has that very like blue collar look to him. Or no, excuse me, white collar look to him. He doesn't have that, you know, kind of gruff southern, you know, kind of vibe about him. Especially, I don't know if it's just his build or what it is, what it is about him. The slick back hair. He's almost too clean to play a gritty role like that. Um, I I don't know. You need to go watch his other movies then. And I'm not saying other movies are better. But you do see him take on more roles like that. No, no, not that he couldn't. Just the way that he looked in this movie. He if they. When I mean, they, he, oh, when they he, first introduced him, if he, they would have said he's 20 years old, I would have believed it. Mm-hmm. The way he talks and the way he calls other people children and things, it's like, okay, he's older, but he still has like this baby face, clean yeah. shaven. Well, don't forget, like, he's also a pastor, preached, though. They kind of look they, right, they right. Said but that just he was from, he came from like one of those Tennessee or something. Colleges or right, whatever. Yeah, so, yeah. Um, and like I said, it just, it just seemed opinion. like he was, um, I don't even know how to explain it. It just seems like he was too clean cut. Compared to, I don't know, everybody else ever playing those roles. Like I was saying, though, he was supposed to be because he is a pastor, though. He's supposed to look clean cut and look clean. Right. No, no, no. no. I, okay, right. So it's it's not a knock on the character. It's I'm more of a knock on knocking Patterson. Like I said, his build, just something about mm-hmm. him. The voice, like his voice mm-hmm. didn't match who he, who he is yeah, yeah. himself. I think they were just trying to make him a squirmy douche to make you just not like him yeah See, that's my and that's another reason why i do the voice even though i still hated that voice i was yeah. like oh, oh my gosh awful. i didn't want to hear him <laughs> talk it's just so forced i don't yes know. but is it because i just can't see him with that southern accent it could be like i like the character i liked all that but that i'm like that voice does not match i mean he already has a real accent already right yes yeah and then try to do a different accent it just doesn't come off i mean good. i can't imagine doing a southern accent what does he have an english accent I don't know, but it's definitely not so. southern. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's, yeah. it's, it's not, not southern. Yeah. <laughs> it just was uh, like a, the most forced southern accent. Um, so we also saw uh, Winter Soldier in this movie as the cop. Oh, yeah. Oh, that was him? Yeah, that was him. Oh, that was him. Uh, what'd you think about him? Being <sighs> grimy character. I fe- I, I, Playing I, a douchebag. Yeah. Playing a douchebag. I, I, f- I felt like. As, as far as the casting and the roles, like when I when I was watching this movie about halfway into it, I was like, could they replace any of these characters? Any of the pivotal characters? I don't think so. The casting was perfect. The, and that's what I was saying. Like, I couldn't, I was like, no, everybody is like who they, sh- I can't think of anybody who would do this better. Yeah, and so uh, I, 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 I thought he did great. Jason Clark is an amazing actor. I think he's really good. The, the, the photographer. Yeah. I think he did a really yeah. good job. He, I, I'm a, a big actor. fan of him except for Terminator. Yeah, he ruined Terminator. God. Oh. John, John Connor. But everything Damn. else, everything else that, that he's is. in, yeah, guy, he's one of he's a he's up there. I like him. No, he's a good actor for sure. But um Sebastian Stan, who's uh, Winter Soldier. What else do we see him in besides playing Winter Soldier? Nothing else, right? I don't think so. Yeah. So b- seeing him being from the superhero, bad guy, which you all know he's actually a good guy. But seeing him in the being this 
douche, this a-hole in this movie. Yeah. Was that a different transition big for you guys? No. I think he just played that role pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think it was a huge transition to play that. Um, it was, you guys want to talk about, you know, maybe a character that wasn't a hundred percent necessary. I didn't get a ton of meat off the bone as far as him as a character. I agree. Like I, him I, taking out the, I don't, I don't think the they were mafia. Yeah. yeah. I don't yeah. know what they were, I but they were like whoever was funding Gangsters his little suits. And and he had a suits. Whole campaign thing that he was trying to do that was not talked about and right. had yeah. nothing to the story. I yeah. was just like, yeah. why is he in here? Other than, you know, He's the cop of the sister or whatever. So right. Yeah. Okay. Well, I can't rate this movie. Blake, what would you rate this movie? For you, you're the only one that actually really liked it. <laughs> I mean, we I enjoyed it for what it was, but I was expecting more. Yeah. Yeah, so if I'm looking at this movie, it is an 8.3 for me. Oh, my gosh. 8.3. That is so high. So Very high. generous. So high. Me. <laughs> so high. But, dude, I, I'm a, maybe I need to, y'all need to go back and rewatch it. Take two more hours, lose two more hours out of your life. No way. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'll, I'll probably revisit this movie later down the road when I can't go to sleep. And then I end up watching it the whole thing. Cause like, oh, well. Wow. Right. And then it's 3 a.m. Yeah, then it's 3 a.m. But uh, who knows? The initial first view, I don't want to watch it again for a little while. You guys, I'm going to go, go home and watch it again tonight. <laughs> go ahead. They need your support probably. No, nah, because nah, I'm actually, to be honest, having listened to you two now, I'm a, I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna be like, damn it, I don't like this movie. Uh, so I don't want to yeah. rewatch it. I don't want to rewatch it. I wanna I wanna go off into the sunset with my memories uh, how they are. So, Jenny, what do you rate this movie? I was gonna say a six. The That's acting fair. is great. That's fair. The acting is great. Like I love great acting, but it just was so long, yeah, and too many stories going on. Too sure. many complicated stories. Agreed. But good acting. A six, Julian. Five point five. Oh. I'm not rating it. I'm just not. You're just throwing out numbers. Huh? You're just throwing out numbers. The way I rate my movies is like, what would I pay money to see this in theater? Right. And would I be happy? That you paid. That I paid. Okay. Mm. And to get that, for me to like, okay, I'm going to pay for this movie and to leave. Okay. They got my money. They won't get it again, but they got my money the first time. It has to be at least a five. To me, this movie wasn't a five. <laughs> oh, and why do you say that? Same thing as, as you, me, and Julian said, that there's too many storylines. I still didn't feel it coming to full circle at the end. Um, two and a half hours almost. Yeah, it was long. The fact that you have that long a movie, which I love long movies. Right. Like, I love long movies. Like, movies like The Departed, Titanic. I know Titanic isn't, like, the number one movie or anything, but, like, that to me being that long telling a whole story from beginning to end. This movie to me didn't feel like from beginning to end. It felt like let me throw all this at you and let you put the pieces together. But not but not in a good way like Tenet though. Mm. Right. See, and maybe that's that's me. I like movies like this. I like I like a puzzle. Yeah. And and, and so I felt like they sprinkled in just enough. There are there are a couple of leaps that you have to make, but I I, I liked it. So um yeah, I, I do. I I appreciate the rating system because I'm very big on like, was this worth the money that I just spent and the time that I just spent here? Like, what are we talking about? I wouldn't be mad walking out of theater to this one. That's fine. Like I said, everyone's could have their own opinion. And my rating system, like I said, my personal rating system is it has to be a five for me to be able to spend the money and to be okay. I don't want a refund. Right. And so, I don't say I don't want my refund. But I definitely wouldn't go back and see it again. Yeah, there you go. Sorry, we shit it on this movie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. Jeez, I, I, it's crazy because I am normally, I'm normally, I, 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 I'm, I, 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 I yeah. I don't know which one it is. I, I hear myself on here, and I'm like, dude, you are so pessimistic, and like. I really thought that I was going to be the the one to to I can see to be well, down on this. But He's like, I'm well. ready. I'm excited. Everybody's going to love this movie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, nah, let well, me save it. But okay, so hold on. Before we and you can cut this out if you want. But okay. Titanic when it first came out on VHS. After you watched the first the disc, double, the yeah, double. Yeah. After you VHS. after you watched the yeah. first VHS, would you rewind it or would you just put in the second one? 
I don't know. I never had to do that. I just watched. No. Boom. Boom. Boom, boom. Oh man! Yeah, keep going. Boom, boom. I uh, so my an aunt of mine. I think I don't think she'll ever see this, but was very displeased that I put the VHS back without rewinding the first one, mm. and she had to go and rewind it when she wanted to sit down and watch it. Was oh, not happy. Oh, way to go! Was not happy. So Eight whenever I think, rewind. yeah. So whenever exactly. I think about this movie, I'm like, did they rewind it? Because I almost died from not doing that. So that's funny. <laughs> Yeah, sorry, people. If you like this movie, go ahead, like it. That's cool. Please annihilate them in the comic, in the comment section, all three of them, because I know <laughs> you guys liked it. Oh man, uh, go watch it for yourself. And then it was good. If you have nothing you to watch like on Netflix, ouch, Ooh. throw it on. It's Dang, good. Nothing. It's good. It's good. No, I mean, where where you guys ranked it? That's where we rank our average, slightly below average movies. Yeah. So so I mean, that was a fair ranking system. I just I was a fan. Well, just someone talk about right, other rating people. So, IMDb gave it a seven point two. Rotten Tomatoes gave it a sixty five. So to me, is that critic or audience? Oh, there you go. That does matter. The audience score Damn. gave it eighty three. Eighty three. Thank you. <laughs> but then again, not everyone knows what they're talking about. Yeah. What do we? What do I know? Right. What do but I? But the know? critics gave it a sixty five percent. Yeah. Hmm. So yeah, I would. I would say it's right around that yeah. average. Well, so yeah, that falls yeah. in between our our opposing views here. I think everybody's spot on. Yeah. Well, Marcy gave it like a four. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah <that was laughs> critically like, low. I'm like, yeah, geez, you know what, what does a guy have is? to do? A fantastic <laughs> four remake, bro. That's a, that's a four. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, for real. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'll give it a five. Right. That was like the Lion King. I give it a five. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like tragic. <laughs> tragic. Jeez. Like, Tom Mulan. No. Okay, neither did I. No, I, I couldn't justify paying money for it. No. I know, is right? it free now? It should be. No, it won't be free till December. <laughs> I'll go what? pirate that. What? Yeah. Well, hey. My kids won't be watching Everyone's it. Everyone's like, pause. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it won't be for a little while. Well, I'm sorry we're so harsh on these movies. Well, at least me and Julian are. Man. I We don't know what we're talking about. Just, just my personal opinion about shit like that. I've seen so many movies, though. I was, my, my, my movie palette is just so broad. Can't help but be a critic. I feel like I feel like there are there's two ways to to do it because watching that many movies, watching all the movies, can make you cynical. But it also makes it versatile because I see everything. I think, and I'm talking about I, everything. I feel like I feel that's what, that's what I'm saying. Though. So like I I look at everything is for every for every like pro there's there's always a con. There's always a downside to for sure. It, and to everything. and 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 I've seen a lot of. <laughs> Pro and con movies, though, right, right, and everything right. in between, right. But like, I, I feel like, um, I feel like I get a taste of all the flavors. Is what I'm saying, right. And if I taste every single what flavor, flavor, what I'm, flavor was this one? <laughs> <laughs> uh, negative vanilla, whatever that would be. Dang. Yeah, but no, no, yeah, not I see what you mean, though. If you see too many, then right. But you see, if you, you too, to... if you see too many of the same thing, then you're only used to that, right. But I'm just saying, like, okay, so like somebody that is a casual viewer. And can still be a fan, like you're. I don't want to say you're like you're still like you can still be wowed, but you don't look at like I didn't look at this movie looking for things to be wrong with it. I looked at it as okay, show me the story. Let me absor- let me see what you're what you're trying to show me, mm-hmm. and, and appreciate it from that angle. Not like mm, nope, mm-hmm. that that was a misstep. Ooh, plot hole. Like I didn't look well, at it like that. And see, that's well, the problem with. With the most critics, especially on Rotten Tomatoes, you right. know, when you go through there and read it, it's just like, did you watch the movie to well, enjoy it, or right. were you there See, looking like, for uh, you know to be critical? Exactly. The time? I felt like the Transformers movies were like that. Like mm-hmm. I went in those movies watching, I wanted to see robots blow shit up. Yeah, and I wasn't going like, oh, this is the best storyline ever. Like, I didn't care. Yeah, like, you know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying. So, um, yeah. So I, I think it's interesting. I, I I like your take, Marcy. I appreciate your take. I don't Thank like you. it. I don't like it. That's okay. And that's totally fine. <laughs> and <laughs> none of us here are professionals at anything. We're just our own individual people here with our own individual minds. Uh, and watch or don't watch. Sorry. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. We're going to wrap up today's episode now. No, we're going to stay on here until I convince everybody that they <laughs> like the movie. No, they can't leave. You guys aren't leaving. Just go get HBO Max and watch everything on there. <laughs> Another subscription. Damn. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're going to wrap up today's episode. Jenny, thank you so much for coming. Thank you for having me. Yay! Jenny will come back on again soon in a future date. We're going to talk about Magic and Mike.
Dun, dun, dun. Everybody's looking at me. I, 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 don't, I, it. I, I was not in the movie, nor I, do I take my clothes off during the review. So nobody get the wrong idea. You don't want to see this. Unless requested. Just kidding. <laughs> so <laughs> type in the saying. comments. Yeah, if you yeah right? Right? Just maybe. <laughs> yeah, Spike's going to be a cosplay Magic Mike character. <laughs> the second oh time. That's funny. Oh, man. All right. Well, thanks for listening and watching, people. Follow us on on all social media and subscribe to our YouTube channel, please. All right, we're out here, guys. See you. Bye. Bye. Bye.